Where do you think your good ideas come from? Do you think they just rain out of the sky and sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not? You've never had one that you didn't summon with a vision, a dream, a thought that could not become a thing without you having that bright idea. You draw from the ether, people, players, circumstances, courage, creativity, inspiration, willpower, whatever you need for that end result to become a thing, it's delivered to you, infused into your bones as you are physically showing up. And it doesn't just work for the rich and famous, although that's how they became rich and famous. Listen to your friends. Listen to the ones who say, life is hard and people are mean. Listen to the ones who say they have no free time. These are their end results, and it doesn't matter that they didn't know that they were their end results. Your friend who says, I can't lose weight, I just can't lose weight, is always right. The universe is up there watching and listening. I heard you the first 7,642 times. Do not worry, we're on it. You will be in the wrong place at the wrong time, predisposed to the wrong food by the wrong friends, with no willpower and slow metabolism. Gotcha. Gotcha. Too many times after a talk, somebody will come up to me and say, Mike, I get thoughts becoming things. I totally get it. I'm all over it. I know attitude is everything. I've always known attitude is everything. I love my life. I love my wife. I've got great kids. I even love my work. But Mike, I just can't crack the money nut. What is it? I don't know what gives. Everything I try, it doesn't work. No one in the history of planet Earth has ever cracked the money nut who first said, I can't crack the money knot. Your words are your wand, as Florence Scovel Shin once said. Your words are your end results, and the universe just marches. That's how powerful you are. The great news. On a dime, you can change the direction of your ship. On a dime. This is the story of the prodigal child. And i got to tell you, heads up, I'm a big-time cherry picker when it comes to the Bible. If I like it, I buy it. Okay? And if I don't, I reject it. If I read the Quran, it would be the same. And I definitely do this with Hallmark greeting cards. <laughs> if I find anything that has truth, that reveals life's beauty, that tells me of my power, that leaves no one behind, I buy it. And I'd encourage all of you to buy it. You need no credentials or, or further educations to sense what is the truth. And the story of the prodigal child is one of those gems. And if you don't know, it's the story of the wayward son who, who leaves his family and his wealthy, wealthy, wealthy father behind and says, I'm going to go out, Dad, and do this on my own. And he goes out and makes a huge mess of everything. And he musters up the courage to come back home and say, Dad, I messed up. Can I come home? And in that instant his entire inheritance is restored much to the chagrin of his dutiful brother who stayed home all along and in the instant you ask the hard questions revealing the mechanics of manifestation that reveal that you are pure total god almighty come alive in the dream of life your entire inheritance more than you can ever spend this lifetime or in 10,000 lifetimes is restored. That's what that story is about. Waking up to the truth. With the truth, you're set free and you can begin living deliberately on this pathway to happiness. And it can all start by choosing words that serve you. Just like the person who says they can't lose weight. You can say whatever you want. But choose words that reflect the dream you you've always known was inside. Living the life you've always dreamed you'd one day live as if you were already living it. Say things like, I love, love, love my life. My life is so easy. I have so much free time. I always say exactly the right thing to the exact right person at the exact right time. Go figure. <laughs> I am surrounded by wealth and abundance. Everything I touch turns to gold. Remember, the reason you're saying these things is because you want change. So yeah, it's going to be weird in the beginning when you've got $80,000 of credit card debt and you're claiming to have the Midas touch. Claim it anyway. This is how you got where you were before. Start using your words. Start saying things that support you in the vision that create this end result to the point that you believe in it and ultimately act on it. And don't forget this favorite declaration of all my declarations. I am 
how? Photogenic. 